Hi, this is Alexei Borov. This is going to be a quick, cheap, and hilarious stall deck. Uh, Regeki's not allowed. Oh no. Uh, oh, that's bad. Alright, redo. Join this guy. Have at thee. Okay. Looks like we're successfully dueling this gentleman. So, um, a lot of people don't like burn decks. I'm sorry, don't, uh, this isn't a burn deck, I apologize. A lot of people don't like stall decks, there we go, uh, because they inevitably lead to one outcome, which is most likely either burn, exodia, fucking final countdown, I think it's called, just a bunch of win conditions. But we're beyond that here at Alexei Borov. What we do is we just piss people off to piss them off. We feed on their tears. So this is literally nothing but a deck of 40 cards that stall, and nothing else. It's going to be real fun. Maybe not to watch, but it's fun for me, because I feed on people's tears. So let's have this guy attack. Let me go to Marshmallow. I don't even know what this archetype is. Uh, Cosmos? Are they the Jedi dudes? I don't know. Well, we're going to stall them, whatever they are. I don't care what the fuck you're playing. Unless you're playing Exodia, then I'll be sad, because I just lose. But no one actually plays Exodia these days. <laughs> yeah, this is that Cosmo deck. Alright, this is going to be a long, boring commentary. Get ready. Grab some chips. We're going to be here for 45 minutes. Alright, I have absolutely no idea how Cosmos work. I've only fought them, like, once, and I got, like, OTK'd by them. Um, yeah, I just straight up am unaware of how they work. Hopefully he'll uh, deck out before I do, because in reality, this is pretty much a deck out deck. Um, I might draw them, I'll show you later. I have uh, two cards in here, so I specifically don't deck myself out, called, uh, I think, Pot of Benevolence. It just puts cards from your graveyard back into your deck. Um, alright, we have a very strong hand here. <laughs> um, yeah, this deck isn't for the weak of heart. There's gonna be a lot of tear feeding going on here. Alright. Hopefully he'll make some real strong plays and really just not get anywhere. Alright, going for that attack. What's he got? Got a Phoenix Chain going? Oh, no. Okay, what do you do? You can banish this card, special summon a bigger Cosmo Monster. Okay. He goes summon a big one. I don't know why he did that on his battle phase. What's that do? Target one monster on the field. Destroy it. Oh no. Oh no. What are we going to do? And there's that turn. Well, that was fun. Hit me. Hit me, swine. That's what I thought. Alright, we are going to go ahead and... I guess we could set the winged Karibos. I don't want to start using the hand traps until I really need to. I'd rather just blow the winged Karibos and Marshmallows and... Ooh, and negate attack. Tee hee hee. Um, we're going to go ahead and set us a winged Karibo. And a negate attack. He has to realize something sketchy is going on at this point. Because the only two cards you've seen is uh, Marshmallow and Wabaku. So, he, he might be thinking that we're playing Exodia, we're playing some kind of OTK deck, but really you're not. I'm just gonna let him kill Win Karibo. Actually, no, fuck it, he's only attacking with one. I'm just gonna negate attack that. Can I negate attack it? Did I miss, did I miss stuff? What, what, who, what? Oh, it can't be targeted, I, no, I'm bad. Uh, we got more Win Karibos. We're just gonna keep setting these Karibos. Um, it sucks that that can't be targeted, so I can't negate attack it. I would I would have preferred to negate attack it, because, I don't know, I just think it would have played out better. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. This kind of ends the battle phase anyway. I guess it really wouldn't have mattered. Then we found out that that thing can't be targeted. Teehee. Upstart Goblin. Gonna start decking yourself out, bro scout. Already two cards behind me. They're in front of me. He has so many options of shit to do, and it doesn't matter. Winged Karibo. Giving you that nice little wink. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Looks like we're gonna go with the Unhappy Maiden today. Unhappy Maiden, away. He might just try and be whittling me down. 
um, I'll eventually have some form of answer for him, like another Marshmallow or a Regeki or something like that. Yeah, he's just going for it. He's not even doing anything. He's just drawn out. Like I said, this is going to be 45 minutes and nothing but this, so grab a coffee. Alright, let's see here. What are, ooh, more curry photons. I don't want a curry photon. Alright, we're not going to do anything, so maybe he's going to try and go for like an OTK or something. He thinks we're out of, uh, we're out of options, which is not the case. He might just go for a direct attack, in which case I am going to battle fader it. Because the battle fader will be a nice meat shield for next turn. Yeah. Yeah, chain four? Don't do that. Don't chain four. Just chain one. Don't fiendish chain it. It'd still be a meat shield anyway. I'm pretty sure you could fiendish chain battle faders because their effect resolves on the field. I don't know. I never tried it. Never really happened to me. What's that? That's cool. During either player's turn, you can banish this card. I don't fucking care. We're gonna set our lemur. When this card in its own possession is destroyed, you got your opponent's card. Okay, yeah, that does what I think it does. So when this dies, when the, when the lemur dies next turn, he won't have a battle phase. And I already have two meat shields here, so we're fine. If something else attacks first, I might just negate attack it. I'm not sure. I'll see how it pans out. No, that's fucked. If that small one attacks first, I'm negate attacking it. Can I? Can I have that negate attack, my good sir? Ooh, I, yes I can. Get negated, bitch. What is that? What does that even do? Once per turn, you can pay blah 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 blah. Target one of your ban- Okay, it just bounces banishy shit. Yeah, he's getting pretty heavy in the back row. Let's see what we got. Ooh, another battle fader. Nice, nice. Alright, we're good. So he'll probably kill the lemur this turn. Hopefully he doesn't summon like 18 monsters because I don't want to have to blow a battle fader. Hmm. No, he's just going for it. That's good, that's good. So he's going to clear our board here. Obviously, this one's going to attack this again. Uh, I do not want to activate my Kiri Photons. Who looked at Karibo and said, you know what, we need an archetype of that. Is he going to go for the Lemur? Oh god, what's he doing? What's he doing? Uh, you can banish this card, special summon Cosmo stuff from your hand and then do more stuff. Okay, he's doing some stuff. Ooh, that's, that's not terrible. <sighs> Fuck, I'm going to have to blow one of these things again. Um, I don't want to get hit for 3,000, because then I can only use two of my Curry Photons this game. And I don't, if I draw the, because th they take 2,000 life points away from you. Um, hmm. Maybe he won't attack, because, oh, he's going for it. Alright, we have to Battle Fader, unfortunately. I would have liked to have not used Battle Fader this turn. But, it must be done. No, I don't want to chain other stuff. Alright, so next turn, he won't have a battle phase at all. Even if I lose, it's going to be such a troll deck, it's going to be great. Cool, there's my third curry photon. Now this turn, this whole turn, he doesn't even have a battle phase, no matter what he does, which is beautiful, I love Watt Lemur. So weird in an actual Watt deck. I need to make that discard deck, I don't think if I've ever uh, uploaded that. I don't know if I ever uploaded it in the, in the past, but I made a, a deck where it's just like low-level ass monsters that when they hit you, they just make you discard a card, and I I managed to... I, I didn't record it, I really wish I recorded it, but it was the... I, I went second, and the guy had six uh, six cards in his hand, this is back when you drew on turn one, and uh, I did some weird, wicked-ass combo, and he had no cards in his hand, and it was just, like, two monsters and, like, three spell cards, and it was nothing banned, and it was, like, the greatest thing ever. I really need to, like, remake that deck. It's really hard to do. There's, like, a 5% chance of you doing that and, like, a 95% chance of the other person just OTKing you. But it, it's really fun. I'll try and make that after I uh, get done with this. This is off, just off the top of my head. I tried to make a nimble deck, and I, like, forgot how to do it, so... I've been away from this game for, like, a month. All right, Mr. Cosmo guy. What do you got going? Make a Heliopolis. That's still a thing, right? What other eights exist? That really annoying dragony thing. Yeah, 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 that one. 
I mean, who who uses extra decks, really? I mean, scrubs that too. Clearly, I'm I'm doing great, and I'm technically I'm winning by a decent amount. I'm not using an extra deck. All right, he's doing Cosmo stuff. I think he's gonna summon stuff and things three or higher. Yeah, he's gonna summon another one of these, or an equally formidable foe. What's that one do? Cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effects. Awesome. And end your turn. Show me a Regeki. Aww. Okay, so... Nothing can be targeted. So, I'm gonna set this for shits and giggles, pretty much. Next turn, I guess I'm gonna have to use my... Uh, Swift Scarecrow. Almost said Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Wrong Scarecrow. Why do you reveal that to me? What is that? Why you do stuff? If this card is normal summoned or special summoned. Why do you reveal that? I'm so confuzzled. Oh god, you gained life. Stop that. Stop that, you. Even though you're gonna deck out way sooner than I am. Okay. Cosmo Fangirl and nothing else. Alright. We're just gonna fucking swift scarecrow the shit out of it. Out of this ordeal. Actually, hold the fucking phone. Go fuck yourself, bitch. That can be targeted the fuck out of. Awesome, I didn't even realize that. This is why we set things. Even though it looks bleak. Oh, that's... Bad for me, actually. <laughs> okay, the player at the lowest life points takes no damage. I'll have pretty low life points in a few fucking turns, so I'm just gonna set that. I, c I, I can't believe this is still, like, legal in the game after, like, two formats. Or one format. However long it's been in the game, it's been too fucking long. Like, this game, this card just needs to get removed from the fucking game. It's just ridiculous. Fucking cancer game over here. I'm sure they'll come up with something even more broken in, like, a fucking week. When you play this card, you win the game, and it's just a level 4 monster. Alright, is he just gonna go for another attack? Nope, he's... Okay. That's unfortunate. How'd that happen? <laughs> I don't think that was chicken rings. This player with the lowest... Blah, 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 fuck off. Uh, once turn during a main phase, the turn player can pay a thousand light points. Oh, that's right. That doesn't just work for me. Alright, well, we're still in the lead. A hefty... Hefty 1200 point lead. Go fuck yourself. Scrap Iron Scarecrow says go fuck yourself. I forgot that they could do stuff with that. I thought they could. I don't know why I thought they didn't. I don't know, my subconscious thought they could do stuff like that. So, um, show me a Regeki. Come on, deck. Heart of the cards it up. Aww. Okay. I don't know. I, mean, I think I should take Gores out of this deck. It doesn't really fit in with the whole... Because I have to take damage and... I mean, it might be good early game, or if your opponent summons, like, some massive, like, fucking obelisk motherfucker. But in, in situations such as this... Kapuya. Um, it's very bad. And my opponent's unfortunately taking the lead. But an acceptable loss, because we're not taking damage this turn. This is an amazing card, Curry Photon. Used in Photon decks? Yes. You can send one Photon monster from your hand to the graveyard. Accept this card. Uh, add this card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, I'm, I'm envisioning a really fun deck. I don't know if it would work, because this is off the top of my head. It involves Curry Photons. A Photon deck? <clears throat> and it mixed with, like, a Heal deck. I think that would be an interesting deck, because you could just spam fucking Curry Photons. I don't know, it might be too clustered to actually function. I'll give it a shot sometime in the near future. He's just kind of swinging away out of, uh, insanity at this point. You got the idea after two attacks. This card looks kind of cool. I like the little blue thingies. Alright, back to focusing. Not really a lot of focusing is actually required for this deck. <laughs> Minimally evasive on your brain. Alright, what do we got? Show me a Regeki. Sweet fucking lord heart of the cards. Don't dark bribe this, please, senpai. Don't dark bribe me. Don't negate it with some arbitrary effect that I didn't read. It's probably what's gonna happen. Oh my god. Don't get like 18 effects off that. Please. <laughs> Please. Aw, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. What's happening? What's he doing? I don't know what's happening. 
I don't know. We're fine. I'm sure we got this. We got two more immediate answers to anything you could do in our hand. Ooh, deck thinning. I like that. Cosmo Fail Rider. Uh, so it's a summon shit? It's not too bad. I should put Dark Holes in this deck, too. I didn't think about that. Fuck. Machines. So is it just summon stuff and does lots of deck thinning things? Alright, I'm happy with that. You deck thinned two, uh, two cards out of his deck. I mean, that's like the end goal here. Alright, we're just gonna... We're, we're just gonna do this. And there goes everything that I have to worry about for this turn. Um, let's see here. Hmm. I think he's out of those... The ones that just blow shit up and they get summoned. Fuck you, let me look at this. He's out of these? No, he has one of those left. One of the, the thingy things. What are they? These destroyers? Yeah, I think he has one of those left. I'm, I'm sure he can manage to blow my shit up without those, but just in case. Um, what other cards do I play in this deck? I just made this off the top of my head like 20 minutes ago. Um, I could... I have one more Battle Fader, two more Scarecrows. Um, a few more of the ones that you have to set. I don't really like those because they could just get like compulsed or some shit and I die. What else do I play in this deck? I forget. Only three martial loads. Only three, that's all I can have. Um, uh, more gores is fuck me. Can you double chain gores? I mean, technically you should be able to. I'm pretty sure you can't for some reason. Um, you must have no cards to activate and resolve this effect. You must control no cards. Okay. And goodbye. So, let me, let me read this. When you take damage from a card effect, from a card your opponent controls, you must, you can special summon this card from your hand. You must control no cards to activate and to resolve this effect. When special summoned this way, okay, yeah, I mean, I mean, hmm, it's weird. I mean, theoretically, you should just be able to activate two of them in your hand, because you still don't control two cards. I don't think... I think the problem is uh, in the text where it says it will resolve, because I think after the first one resolves, um, then the second one would just chill in your hand, because it'd have nothing to, like, you know, do the whole resolve-resolve thing. I don't know. Back before they changed it, where it only said to activate this effect, I'm pretty sure, like, technically you could have chained two, but they are at one anyway. Alright, what are you doing? What are you doing, Cosmo? Jotten, jotten. What are you doing? Losing faith. Giving up. Forfeiting your duel. Descending into madness. He should be at this fucking point. I would be. I'm kind of descending into insanity from just using this fucking deck. Oh, God, I'm an asshole. Um, hmm. Next turn, I would like to draw a hand trap. Because this Gores is only going to get me so far. However, if he attacks with, next turn, if he attacks with a 28 first, and that's all he has, I could just summon a Gores, and that's all he could do. I don't know. We'll see how it pans out. Pans out, that word, yeah. We'll see how it pans out. Hmm. Come on... Cosmo guy. Did he descend into madness? Is he hitting his head off his keyboard? Is he loading his Glock? What is he doing? We'll find out momentarily. He may have just rage quit. I'm not sure. If this timer here gets to the bottom and it's like, oh, your opponent quit. Sometimes it doesn't. and I'm pretty sure that means that it's like Alt F4 out of the whole program. I'm not sure. We'll find out. There's his time. There's his time. Biding his time. Alright. Okay, at this point in time, I'm 99% sure he just alt f 4 out of the program. So, uh, g uh, yep, there it is. Good game, guys. We won. We fucked him up. He descended to madness. Probably killed himself. Uh, see you guys around.